హలో ఎవరి వన్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ మధుసూదన్ ఫైనల్ ఇయర్ డిఎన్బి రేడియాలజీ రెసిడెంట్ ఇన్ నారాయణ హృదయాలయ హాస్పిటల్ బెంగళూరు డాక్టర్ అఖిలా రిక్వెస్టెడ్ మీ టు మేక్ ఏ షార్ట్ వీడియో అబౌట్ రెసిడెన్సీ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఇన్ అవర్ హాస్పిటల్ ఎస్పెషలీ ఫర్ దోస్ హూ ఆర్ అటెండింగ్ డిఎన్బి కౌన్సిలింగ్ ఇన్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ ట్రై టు ఫోకస్ ఆన్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ అకాడమిక్ యాక్టివిటీస్ అండ్ వర్కింగ్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ ఇన్ అవర్ హాస్పిటల్ వీ ఆర్ ఎ టోటల్ ఆఫ్ నైన్టీన్ రెసిడెంట్స్ posted in different parts of the department like ct mri ultrasound interventional radiology department fluoroscopy uh, we have four primary and four secondary seats once you enter the residency program you will be posted in x ray fluoroscopy and ultrasound after 3 to 4 months gradually you will be posted in cross section ct mri and ultrasound postings are one month each that you will get on a rotation basis every 3 months once there is a general misconception that uh, in nh we are reporting only cardiac cases that is not true here we are reporting all sort of cases cns git msk including cardiac cases uh, we have high hand we have high hand 3t and mr machines uh, we have two ct machines one is uh, uh, 256 slice dual energy ct scanner ge machine and another one is 128 slice philips scanner we have four mr machines two are 1.5t and two are 3t machines and we have more than 10 ultrasound machines before this covid 19 pandemic we used to do more than 120 cross sections and more than 150 ultrasound scans per day regarding working hours in first year you have to work 12 hours a day from 8 am to 8 pm in second year and third year working hours will be less uh, like eight hours you have to work uh, on a shift basis usually three residents will be on call one first year one second year and one final year resident in first year you have to take uh, calls on every fourth day in second year and third year you will get less night calls uh, in ultrasound you will get uh, free hands to do the scan and each of your scan will be supervised by consultants and uh, it is very important because uh, you will they will point out your mistakes and uh, they will uh, make you learn then and there so we have some amazing senior residents in ultrasound department especially girish sir and vinay sir they are very eager to teach you regarding ct and mr reporting you have to draft reports uh, that will be corrected and finalized by consultants uh, in second year and final year, you will get more CT and MR postings compared to first year. And you will be posted in IR department for two months. Uh, there you will get good exposure to vascular and non-vascular interventional procedures. Uh, for 15 days to one month, you will be posted in echo or nuclear medicine in the end of the final year. We have 10 consultants in uh, cross-section, 5 consultants in ultrasound and 2 consultants in uh, IR department. Uh, all of them are amazing very friendly and they are very eager to teach you we have some very good technicians uh, you can also learn from them especially fluoroscopy procedures regarding academic activities uh, we have two classes per week one hour each on tuesday and friday uh, there you can present seminars and cases stipend is around uh, 35 to 40 k but recently karnataka government has increased the stipend from 35 k to 50 k that's a good news for you guys uh, passing rate in NH is always been good. Uh, accommodation will not be provided from the hospital side as such. You have to make your own arrangements. Seniors will help you out in this matter. That is not a problem. Uh, overall, I think uh, NH is one of the best hospital for radiology training. Uh, thank you everyone. I wish you all the very best. Please like, share and subscribe for more such content.